Hi, welcome to my channel, Crafty Come Lately. I will share with you another Dollar Tree haul. It's combined, I think, two stores, maybe three. Um, but I've been going around a little bit. Um, whenever I go to a different neighborhood now, I do look at their Dollar Tree because they all seem to be, to be better than mine. So um, if you're in Washington, I've gone to the Covington one and the Rainier Beach one. And the Covington is by far the largest and the nicest and cleanest that we have in Washington State. But of course, I haven't traveled the whole state yet, so... Um, so I did get um, some gloves, red gloves, because I've seen people doing the pom-poms on top of the little, uh, to cut off the fingers and make them little Santa hat. So I do want to try that. Um, so that's one. And um, I made the pencil sets for Halloween. I didn't get the, I couldn't find the Halloween pencils when I went back to look for them. So I did get the Christmas um, pencils, pardon me, um, so I can make them. And I didn't get as many trick-or-treaters as I was supposed to, so I have a few extra. But I will make something similar with the eraser. So I did get the erasers as well. This is the that one. With, so I did get the erasers and the pencils. And then I got some stickers. I'm going to make some tags out of them or possibly on top of the kind of pencil packaging. And then I got more tags, more snow, gingerbread men. And then these are the other... You know icicle snowflakes there and then some of these as well to maybe put on the pencil cases or some other I have like some junk journal ideas too with that and then I couldn't find the mini composition books I have looked on a lot of different um, Dollar trees so um, I settled for these actually I just found these because I have gone up and down I feel like the corridor but um, these are three in a pack, and they're still lined notebooks. Slightly bigger, the composition book would be this size. So still pretty good size. And then this is my previously shown decorated Gorgeous Girls. And then actually I did get some more of these, but I must have packed these away. The other notebooks that look like this when they're regular, and then you cover them up. And actually I wound up taking the whole thing off, and I put my own cardstock and my own cover so but I may show that in a different video maybe if I ever get to it so I did pick up a few different ones I, but it doesn't really matter what they look like so I'm gonna cover them and make them my own and I got some bubbles I got the big ones and the little ones and I have found them even in the Christmas section so not in the normal floral area where they normally are so I have more of the regular, more of the big, and I've been making little magnets out of them <clears throat> for a refrigerator. I made leopard one for my sister who loves leopards. I made Christmas ones here, and I made each other separately. <clears throat> and emphasis on the May, because I may not, but these are like a two-pack thing too. And they're just cute little mag magnet-backed. And then some kind of image with some kind of bubble there. Got some laser tape right here. That's pretty cute for Christmas colors. And then I did get Christmas cards because you can do a lot of different things with it, including junk journal. And this pattern, because I have an old Christmas card. That what gave me the idea. So this is what this is what it looked like. Really pretty. And I cut two things out of it and made beautiful tags. So that's what gave me the inspiration and that one. So I think that's all I picked up and that's all I am going to share. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any ideas to what, um, what I should be looking for, or if you see composition books out there, let me know. Thank you so much. Bye.